Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best rice cooker. Starting at number 5. Tatong TFC 5817. Food writer Kathy Irway explains that her rice cooker, ubiquitous in Taiwan, works like an electric steamer. Instead of mixing rice and water directly together, the tatong heats water in a larger compartment around the bowl that holds the rice. This generates steam and helps the individual grains cook super evenly. But it also means that you can steam other foods, like eggs or broccoli, without boiling them, Irway says, whether that's on a tray set on top of the rice or without any rice at all. Journalist and cookbook author Clarissa Wei grew up with a tatong and bought her own a few years ago. She says the cooker emits a very gentle heat, which is ideal for making silky egg custard and also creates distinct, fluffed-up kernels of rice that aren't too sticky. And Yun Hai owner Lisa Chang-Smith, who sells the tatung in exclusive red and green colors at her shop, says her grains turn out springy and bouncy. She says she also uses it to make soups to stews and to delicately reheat leftovers. All three experts note that the simple on and off switch is a plus. I don't need a ton of buttons to do this thing or that thing, Irway says. After the first time or two making rice, you know exactly how long it takes. Coming at number 4. PARS Automatic Persian. The PARS Persian rice cooker is built to do something different from all the others on this list, make Tadig, the ubiquitous, crispy layer of rice at the bottom and top, when you turn it over, of many preparations of Persian rice dishes. I'm an avid home cook, but rice was always tough for me, and that's part of why for a while I avoided cooking a lot of Persian food," says writer Arya Roshanian, who chronicled his foray into using the pars for Vox last year. Funny enough, his mom and grandmother both used one, and it was during the pandemic that he finally decided it was time to get one himself. In fact, he has two now, the smaller 4-cup he started out with and a larger 7-cup he uses to make Tadig for a crowd. It's user-friendly, he says, something that my 85-year-old grandma who only speaks Farsi and isn't that good at technology can figure out. The first time I used it, I was thinking I would need to try a few times in order to get it right, but it came out pretty perfectly, and then each subsequent time too. Roshanian also likes that the insert is lightweight and non-stick so it's super easy to flip out and clean. At number 3. Amusa USA Gao. The Amusa literally couldn't be easier to use, it's almost toy-like. To turn it on, you just plug it in. Otherwise, it operates with a single tab you switch down to cook and up to keep warm, this latter setting is its default when plugged in, and it reverts back to it the moment a batch is finished. To turn it off, you unplug. In my testing, I found the machine produces nicely textured short and long grain white rice, plump and hydrated but not mushy. I will note that though I haven't tried it with brown rice yet, some reviews say this doesn't work as well because a lot of water collects in the lid, so I might not opt for this model if you plan to make longer cooking varieties. I like the clear lid, too, the only one on this list that has this feature besides the Persian rice cooker below. It doesn't actually do anything, but there's something satisfying about being able to peek inside. Number 2 of my list. Panasonic 5 Cup. The Panasonic is another simple model, the one that food photographer Neil Santos has also used for a decade, both personally and at his Philly-based Filipino pop-up, Lalo, which unfortunately closed due to the pandemic. I'm not a high-tech kind of person, and this only has a few settings. That's what I grew up with in a Filipino household, he says. It can be on all the time and stay warm. It has a little basket that can steam veggies over the rice. Sometimes I'll use it for other dishes as well. The Philippines has a lot of rice desserts, like suman, which is sticky rice wrapped in banana leaf. I put the suman in there and let it stay warm. That's how we used it at the restaurant. We were in a food hall, so everything was small, and this was an efficient way to do things. Reviewers of the Panasonic agree. The keep warm function is so convenient, writes one, and I never end up with burnt rice that's impossible to clean off the pot. In fact, I usually only have to give the pot a quick rinse when I'm done and it's good to go. 
Another says it's even better than the zojirushi when it comes to that particular setting. It keeps white or brown rice warm and ready to eat for 24 hours, without the rice drying out and becoming too hard and brittle, they write. The 10 cup zojirushi we have will dry out the rice overnight. And number 1. Zojirushi NSD. Since I got my hands on this zojirushi a year ago, my rice has been evenly tender and fluffy every time. I tend to mostly make sushi rice and long grain white rice like basmati or jasmine, and the machine excels at both. I've also made brown rice a few times and even tested out quinoa and farro to much success. The reason for this is thanks to what the brand calls fuzzy technology, or a built-in microcomputer that can sense how your rice is cooking and adjust the time and temperature to get a perfect result if need be. I don't totally understand the mechanics, but it works. For the grains that don't have specific settings, the brand has this incredibly helpful guide, and a quick Google search will yield instructions on any type not listed there. I've also used the included basket to steam greens and, as Carla Lally Music taught me, perfect potatoes. And, I think it's worth noting, I've left my rice on the keep warm setting for as much as an hour and a half and, remarkably, it doesn't affect the texture at all. When all is said and done, both the steamer and the inside bowl are a breeze to clean. You pluck them out and any residue rinses right off. My biggest disclaimer, this appliance is big. But if you have the space, it really does live up to the hype. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.